right so we're moving over to the hunting pallet scenario this is 60 meter range today i've got my small camera in front i've got the bazooka here or this is the laser should i rather say this is the impact mark 2 600 mil barrel and the rig is set at 90 bar it's going to shoot these pallets anywhere from 800 feet to 940. on top i've got a walk little scope there for those guys that did wonder all right so the pallets today in contention is the h and crow now these guys are actually built just for 30 meters but i'm going to push them for 60 today we've got the hunter extremes you've got the hunters there the hornets Jay's behaviors and then I've got the h and Terminator. Now, if you refer back to my previous video, you'll see what the expansion was in water and why I'm so eager to test these guys. So today at this stage, no wind, a little bit cloudy and overcast. Beautiful day for shooting. And as I said, it here comes the wind. Okay, no problem whatsoever. Time to have some fun. Time to get into some serious hunting. Yeah, hunting pallets. I love them. All right. So first up, I'm going to shoot the Crow Magnums. Now, at 30 meters, these guys weren't the most accurate, but in the water bottle test, they absolutely destroyed that water bottle. Go and have a look. I'll put the links up for you guys for the other two videos as well. I'm now going to shoot them at 60 meters, five shots per target. One of these days, I will be able to read. It particularly says maximum distance, 30 meters. Gert, not 60 meters, 30 meters. And I soon found out that the manufacturers was 100% correct in the distance. At 30 meters, I could still handle some good groupings with this. But at 60 meters, mm -mm, they're not supposed to be shot at this distance. I don't know if any of you guys have had any better luck with that. But this is definitely not a 60 meter pallet. This is why. On second thought, after shooting four sighters, I'm not going to take the chance. Um, I might destroy my poor GoPro there in front. Um, after four sighters, a grouping like that at 60 meters. I'm not going to chance my poor GoPro for that. Going to shoot two more sighters, see if it improves. If it doesn't improve, no go. It's quite interesting. I don't know when last you saw a Harry Potter movie when they take that little... Where is my pen? Here's my pen. They go like this. When they throw a spell. Now exactly happens with the crows at this distance. You take your wand and you go rip, you'll eventually hit the target. So definitely not built for 50 meters. With the crows, stick to 30 meters. All right, so I decided not to go ahead with this. So what I did for the fun is I just emptied the magazine, 18 shots, going for the top right corner, and they sprayed just a little bit. So if I look at this, this is definitely not a 60 meter pallet. This is ideal for 30 meters and even a little bit shorter. So those ratting opportunities that you get, the crows will totally destroy them. So let's go on to the next pallet. Next up, my bad joke time, Terminator. All right, so let's go with the Terminator next. For the sensitive viewers, this is also a 30 meter pallet. I'm not supposed to shoot them at 60 meters, but let's look at the results. Uh, there's always something interesting happening when you're here. Um, right in front of my last target, there's a small little tweak about half a pallet thickness right in front of the target. On shot two, I actually clipped that little tweak, but it's about three or four foot in front of the target, but it still has an impact. I'm quite surprised by the Terminators. They kept their shape. I had one little flyer that I could see twirl in the air. The rest of them were actually quite good. So even for a pallet designed for shorter distances, I think it performed quite well at 60 meters. Time to go and measure up and give you guys the results. The Terminators did exceptionally well for a 30 meter pallet. At 60 meters with groupings of 14 millimeter, 16 millimeter, 18 millimeter, wowzer. I might reconsider this as one of my hunting options going forward because when I go dub hunting, it's rather with 30 40 50 meters i seldom go past 70 meters at 60 meters 
I will get the best. Don't you worry about it. All right, time for the next pellet. Next one for a shave will be the Barracuda Hunters in 18.21 grains. And I actually do expect these pellets to group a little bit better. Let's have a look at them. Well, they group nicely on setting number five. Um, I was expecting a little bit better, but probably when I get there and I measure up, I'll be pleasantly surprised. Hope so. Um, I actually do love these uh, hunters. Quite a decent pellet. I was actually expecting a little bit better from the hunters than what he did in this scenario. If I look at those groupings, 17 millimeters, 18 millimeters that's around about the same as the terminator so if i've got the choice between the hunter and the terminator hmm that's a difficult one all right let's keep on fussing about let's go to the barracuda hunter extreme next up the barracuda hunter extremes they are in 18.52 grain let's give them a whirl Okay, um, I actually feared the worst when I loaded the Barracuda Hunter Extremes. Again, a pallet that's actually built for 30 meters, 30, 40 meters. I'm pushing them up to 60, <laughs> sexy. <laughs> I'm pushing them up to 60 meters on different power settings and they actually performed quite well. I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised, hopefully. I was expecting the worst after the 30 meter groupings I saw, but this is actually not too bad. Will this be my preferred hunting pallet? I don't think so but up to 30 meters it can be quite devastating so don't throw them away yet all right we've got two more to go we've got the jsb haters and then we've got the hornet it's time to sting like a bee with the hornets what else all right so let's give this a whirl hornets power setting three nice cold wall rest in the front to give me a little bit more stability my bags in the background to cut out as much human error as I can. Let's go for this. I like these hornets every day a little bit more wow that was a surprising grouping the one thing that I did see though is that they are very very sensitive to wind I don't know if the point is heavier so it can actually push the tail a little bit but on the second target I had a slight slight breeze from right to left it pushed it a, a bit more than a mole dot from right to left on target three the wind absolutely died down as well as on target four that's going to be an interesting measurement. What was supposed to be a 30 meter pallet turned out exceptional at 60 meters with a 17 millimeter grouping at 942 feet per second and with a bit of imagination a 12 millimeter grouping at the maximum power of 953 feet per second. I think they deserve applause. Yay! Hades and 15.89 grain. Okay, so that's the final of that. 
let's go and measure these last pallets up and then we can do a final conclusion and give you guys the roundup of my thoughts and my experience of overall i had a super day the wind played its part nice nice to be shooting a hell of a lot better than sitting in an office time to do the walkie walkie back the sun has come out in the interim wind is awesome almost no wind and this this was my setup for the day so on the right hand side massive massive tripod very small teeny weeny camera that is a firefly on this side i've laid the gun on its side i've got the cold wall bench rest there to give me as much stability as possible in the back i've got my bags on a nice little table with my chair and that is my whole setup so let's give you guys the final results and then i'm gonna log off lacquer man lacquer now that was a fun day wouldn't you agree the haters as the last babies in the batch and 948 feet per second that is some decent goose and grouping i think so in any case so to sum this all up five of the six pallets grouped exceptionally well at 60 meters for a hunting pallet i would recommend these at any stage if you want to go to 100 meters i might want to reconsider one or two of the options then i'd rather go the slug route in any case but from the hunting pallet side from the expansion of these babies please watch out for that video as well exceptional i can go hunting with confidence with these pallets if you like this video like and subscribe i'll see you guys in the next one that's all folks